guess he's going LARPing. Okay, I'll just tell you, it's me. So I've always wanted to go LARPing. Don't know anything about it. So I thought we'd go on this funky adventure together. I'm going to Nameless, which is my rogue character in one D&D campaign. I'm quite proud of my outfit. Oh, hot damn. I'm gonna be looking hot to trot when I'm bathing in the blood of my enemies. Okay, before playing, this game is fantasy, blah blah blah. Blah 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 During this game, all players decide whether to be a player character or a non-player character. We can be NPCs. Reset in Shadow Realms days last from 6 a.m. until 6 p.m. To wake up at 6 a.m. Not waking up at 6 a.m. Create a character. Character needs to have a past. My past is I don't remember my past, but there are people trying to kill me and chasing after me in junk. Must have been one hell of a party. At the beginning of the game, you're given six skill dots to place in any of these categories. Magic, faith, general, weapons, and stealth. Ooh, I'm gonna be sneaky, I'm gonna be so sneaky. Oh, you're not even gonna see me. I'm gonna be so sneaky like that. Whoa, you can't see me, but no, you could, or sort of could, but I'm gonna be sneaky. So you can purchase more dots with experience points later in the game. So if I mess up now, I have a chance to mess up later. So there are a couple really, really cool races you can choose from. I don't want to paint my skin, I don't have elf ears, and I don't have a wolf tail, so I'm gonna be a human. Galena's followers place a large emphasis on individual freedoms. Gay rights, down with misogyny. But this is gonna be awesome! <laughs> And Dungeons and Dragons friends just made fun of me for going LARPing. Let that sink in a minute. So apparently, even to people who play Dungeons and Dragons non-ironically, LARPing is pathetic. But apparently they really wanted to ruin my weekend, so they showed me videos like this. Lightning bolt! Ah. Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Oh. I was really excited and now I'm just terrified. Like I'm scared I'm gonna get there and just be like, this is friggin' ridiculous. What is this gobbledygook? And wanna go home. And they said, you know what? If you do this, you have no self-respect. And then I thought to myself, no, actually, that's not what self-respect is about. Self-respect is not living up to other people's expectations. It's doing what you need to to make you happy. I am going to go, I am going to camp and wear the same outfit for two days. I'm probably not going to be able to shower. I'm going to hit people with nerf swords and go fireball, lightning bolt, fireball, magic missile at the darkness. And you know what? It is going to be friggin' ridiculous. But it's going to be so much fun! Just look how freaking adorable I look! Look at this! And who knows, maybe it'll be too ridiculous and I'll never want to go back again, but how will I know if I do not try? So... This is going to be interesting. This is Madison. He's my companion for the weekend. So we packed all our stuff. We came to a campground. Um, there are people dressed like wizards, and there's a guy with a vest but no shirt just walking around. And there's going to be more tents. There's, there's two people sitting up there, tent over there. I think, I think they're cowboys. I don't know. I'm the only girl so far. The only girl that's ever gonna show up. The only girl that's there. No, more girls have to show up. But no, it's gonna happen. So we set up a tent halfway because we got lost. <laughs> we got stuck. So we didn't finish our tent. That's Madison's mattress, my mattress, and our junk in the middle. That's the big door. Hey, you wanna go out? Well, we, what else are we gonna do? Yeah. Go on. <laughs> 